Hi everyone. I am making a card for my little niece. Well, she's not so little. But um, she's going to be a, well, preteen, I guess. She's uh, going to turn 12. And I am making her a card. I'm trying to anyway. I was getting frustrated earlier with the um, uh, Cricut Design Space because it just seems like it was taking forever just to make these cuts and anyhow I did get manage to get it done and I'm all right now <laughs> and so now I'm just trying to finish off the card I'm using the Art Philosophy stamp set and oh, there we go. Tags Occasion, which is this. And then I'm also, I already used the balloon from the RTs collection, or what is it? Cur Cricut Artist Collection Birthday Cricut Collection and the other one was the Art Philosophy I'm not sure if I said it or not but anyhow um, yeah so I was getting frustrated <laughs> I was able to get it done and move along and so now I'm just stamping with that tag and this uh, stamp is a brand new stamp and I haven't used it so and I didn't condition it on my arm like most people do most crafters do so I'll just go ahead and restamp it and there we go and I just used the method like everybody uses once they cut their uh, image, then they use this as a template for to lay this down and get a perfect cut. I, not a perfect cut, perfect stamp. Oh my goodness, I've been like this all day at work. Been busy at work and um, just focusing on getting my day's work done which I didn't <laughs> well I did but it's going to continue tomorrow obviously with everything else I need to, to do and I just used this little teardrop from Memento Dewdrop Paris Dusk I used grape jelly and I also use this one the perfect medium which I think I have to re-ink because these are the cuts I made with the artiste yep the artiste I only use the stamp on this one and then on these I just I use the perfect medium and then I put um, the embossing powder to adhere glitter and I use the glitter on these two. I also use this set here from Close to My Heart, True to Life, Everyday Life and I use the Happy and the Birthday and I put it on here. And so I cut this card um, five by seven, and I'll have all the measurements at the end. Um, I also printed this from online, and my little goddaughter she likes these apparently, Galaxy Vans. So I went ahead and I did that too, and I cut it out with my Cricut Explore, and then I made this cut here. I don't know if you can see the scalloped. And I use that Fiskars 
thread and water. Okay, so I just went ahead and glued it down. I had my oldest come in and my husband home from work, so they were a little loud, and I had to just, I want to hurry up and do this, so I just went ahead and glued it. And I do use the, I do use the um, scotch glue. All right, so I kind of finished the front. And again, apologize. I usually don't speak this low. I do only because I don't want to uh, bring any attention to me as far as my family. So that this way I can get this done. But unfortunately, they know where to find me now. And yeah, sometimes it... Um, not sometimes, a lot of the times it gets loud. But usually I am a very, very bubbly person, outgoing and just very chatty. If you talk to me, I will talk back. So I just put the vans on um, some foam tape. And it's funny because on my craft tour, I couldn't remember what the foam was called. I said the foam and... I didn't remember <laughs> that that happens when you're being um, when you're trying to do something and so I also put this on foam um, I am using my Teresa Collins Mega Runner I like the Xyron product and that one's Xyron so this is the first time I'm using it. Um, so I guess my sister will let me know if, uh, if it works. Uh, let me see if I can... Oops, wrong way. I want to go out. So there's my front. And I just had this one, and this one popped up, and then the little van shoes. And I, again, I got those from online, SVG, print and cut with my Cricut Explorer. And then I'm going to work on my inside, which I had some more of the polka dot paper that I'm going to use. And here's that um, blue runner. I was mentioning so we'll see we'll see how good it works and um, the glutes kind of like uh, little dots it's a little thicker than the ATG gun uh, a little noisier as I can tell but it's thicker as well. I don't know if you can see. Anyway. Mm. I started putting some blue on that side, but then I remembered. Hey, everyone's quiet. So maybe I can start recording again. just makes me feel like I gotta be extra quiet even. So again, I don't call no attention to me. But, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't even know if my little goddaughter likes uh, purple. I know I have a lot of purple on here, but I'm just going by the colors of the um, the vans. So hopefully she likes it. I'm thinking of bringing in some purple pink since I have pink up here. Why not? A 
we'll use the um, pink stamp or cheater method. Well, I can tell you that's tape on the Teresa Collins is sticky. There we go. And I'm just going to put it right, oops, right in here because I want to do a sentiment and maybe a little, um, stamp a little gift or something. I don't know. So I went ahead and I stamped my card and I totally forgot not to put this down before I glue it, but that's okay. I used my Fiskars stamp and I was able to stamp this just fine. And um, for the stamps I used my rubber stamps. I don't I think I want to say these are Fiskars. I don't have the name for it though. But I use the Let's Party and Make a Wish. And then I'm going to add some of these little KI glitter dots that I picked up over at Walmart. I thought I'd add a little bit of black to bring some in from the front of my card. Um, I don't have many stamps. I'm starting to pick up stamps here and there, so kind of hard to get some sentiments and um, to be able to use on my cards. So, but anyhow, here it is. Simple card. And here's the front. Alright. See you next time. Hopefully I won't be so quiet next time. Bye everyone.